Could Spartan Lock be killed in Halo Infinite? Recent leaks suggest that along with some new weapons and new vehicles along with the Palace of Pain coming for Halo Infinite. We'll stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news information video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this and it greatly helps out the video and channel so more people, people get to stay in the know with everything going on with Halo. As suggested at the top of this video, there are some potential Halo Infinite leaks that recently came out and again, I hate to say this guys, but again, they are toy leaks. No, I know, easy, easy, easy. I understand your frustrations, but guarantee these guys, you gotta learn some of this stuff if you wanna know all the nitty gritty details when it comes to Halo Infinite, as we have the July reveal coming probably, potentially around late July. I've heard rumors of July 23rd. That's what the current rumors are for right now. Again, once that date is announced, I'll let you guys know on this channel as soon as possible. So until then, we have some awesome toy information to look over while we uh, get a chance to view all this awesome content and speculate. Now the first image here is showcasing what's called a brute skiff, which looks kind of like a transportation attack vehicle, kind of weird combo kind of thing. Looks pretty awesome in my point of view. Uh, most interesting thing to me actually is seeing the weapon that Spartan is holding, which you can tell we've seen that weapon previously in other leaks. It's uh, some unconfirmed confirmed rifle of some sorts and you can see how it's using some kind of like electricity from it i've seen this weapon pop up oftentimes in these pre-made sets against vehicles so this could be like an anti-vehicle weapon of some sort which would be rather interesting uh, here's another screenshot you can see again with that same weapon against the skiff intercept which is what might be the official name of it but you can see same action going on right there taking cover looks like it shoots some kind of lasers all that awesome stuff looks like it's uh, gonna be pretty interesting vehicle we might be able to see that in halo infinite as we do know the banished were recently confirmed for halo infinite now this screenshot i want to show you is kind of like the back of a toy box now now, this is obviously quite boring information, but this does give you some information on some of these weapons. As we saw that previous weapon that Spartan was holding is definitely a rifle. That other previously leaked weapon that we've seen a uh, Spartan of gun near armor wearing, holding that weapon, it's actually a pistol. I was speculating it was possibly some kind of like handheld shotgun, much like the Mauler, but looks like it's gonna be more of a pistol, which is gonna be pretty interesting there. If you look down a little bit further down to the lower right, you see the pistol. Now, this could be the pistol that we'll be using. It definitely has a remodeling, or it could just be a pistol that's within the game. As you know, very understandable, much like in Halo 5, there are multiple versions of the pistol, so very possible that we can have multiple kinds of pistols in this game. As you can already confirm, we have the one in the upper left-hand corner and the one in the lower right. Well, this screenshot, I definitely want you guys to pay attention to this one. As you can see, we'll start from the far left. There's the Marine holding an assault rifle, pretty standard. There's Master Chief holding that rifle again. Uh, it seems to be only being held by UNSC people, so this might be some kind of railgun anti-vehicle kind of weapon. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, this brute, though, is really where you need to keep your focus on. When I first looked at this, looked at this I'm like, okay, yeah, it's a brute holding a hammer. Cool stuff. But look at his right shoulder. What does that look like to you? That looks like Locke's helmet right there. Uh, that is kind of ominous to show that right now in the game because uh, you know we've seen brutes wear their uh, accomplishments on their sleeves if you will you know we've seen this previously with tartarus putting a dead elite skull on his armor that could be very possible that we saw the same thing happen to spartan Locke. we've heard no news or any information or leaks when it comes to Locke being in halo infinite so my assumptions Locke could be uh dead the next image here again i want to show you is some more customization of some spartans as you can see a very kind of reach in halo 5 influence kind of armor set by this uh, spartan here as it has more of a halo 5 style recon helmet but with june's uh kind of cloaked ghillie suit somewhat uh armor piece which looks pretty awesome again that rifle returning in the unsc side of things looking over at the elite you can see that clearly that elite is holding what looks to be a focus rifle from halo reach 
Again, another weapon and piece from Halo Reach and making it into Halo Infinite. Uh, we can go to the next shot here, showing a, a banished Banshee, say that five times fast, in action, and showcasing it against uh, you know what would look like an action piece right here. Again, the focus rifle in action, along with that mystery Halo Infinite rifle. Again, was this kind of like electrical charge looking at a vehicle once again. To me, it really puts an emphasis on an anti-vehicle type of weapon, maybe like a new kind of railgun, but maybe focused for uh, anti-vehicle stuff, which would be pretty interesting for sure. Here's another image showcasing a what looks to be like a mongoose, maybe a different kind of style right there. Interesting thing though, look down below. You can see that this uh, Marine is driving what looks to be some kind of jet ski kind of uh, vehicle. And now if we do remember from the announcement trailer, there was kind of an emphasis of water for a minute there, as there was a vehicle underwater right there, and there was obviously something inspecting that thing would that kind of allude to possible exploration involving water in some points or some other kind of way i mean we see another screenshot here another water vehicle we've seen this one previously in uh back in the original toy leaks back in, i believe in december and you can see i mean master chief has a freaking wingsuit much as what obviously some of this stuff might not all be in halo infinite as this could be just specific to mega constructs but you can see that would be pretty interesting to have a freaking wingsuit, dude. That would be insane. Uh, we have some more banished vehicles as well. These look like some kind of air vehicles. Uh, I don't know what the heck that thing, that grunt, is flying. But that's definitely something I haven't seen before. <laughs> Same thing with the uh, vehicle in front of it, too. Kind of looks almost like a, uh, kind of like a falcon, almost, in a way. But like a banished, modified version. That would definitely be in the style of the banished, for sure. Uh, next screenshot here I want to show you guys is this little piece of a ring from Halo Infinite. And the main thing I want to take away from this one is the fact that you can see like this tall pillar-like structure on the far right. You can't go, okay, this is probably like some kind of tower or something like that. Obviously, yes. But this tower could mean something quite special. It had some uh, possible leaks to the Palace of Pain. If you don't know who the Palace of Pain is, basically it's a place where humans were tortured by the Forerunners to find a cure against the Flood, essentially. And I want to read out this little section here on Twitter from the Eld to showcase what we're talking about here. So the Eld found this little tidbit of lore right here saying the pillar was about a kilometer square around the base. Clouds obstructed the top. Is this the Palace of Pain? I asked the old man. Could possibly be that as you can see right here from Halo Infinite's cover art, you can see right in the middle, right by Chief's arm, a very similar structure and that's very interesting. That would make me have to think that since this is kind of like in the center of the box or right next to Chief and we have our own Mega Constructs kind of diorama thing about this, possibly the Palace of Pain, possibly just a very notable location within Halo Infinite. Again, this is all speculation, trying to connect some dots here, but this definitely seems to be more than just some structure in the game. It seems to be something quite interesting. Again, we get a nice little close-up shot of this. You can see it mimics that same structure quite exactly. Next for these leaked shots, we get some cool action shots of the Warthog, as you've always seen. Interesting thing here I want to point out is, uh, well, first of all, everything is kind of standard, but the interesting thing is watching Chief shoot from the driver's seat, actually, which we have never been able to do in Halo. You can see, yeah, it's my, those could be just be posed for the uh, the box art and itself, but you can see also in the front of the box, Chief is shooting from the driver's seat as well. Could be a new ability that we've never had in Halo previously. And then one here we can see some screenshot leaks of what looks like to be some Spartans and a Brute as well. Uh, the middle Spartan holding what looks to be like the automatic shotty that we referenced in our previous toy leak video. Link in the description down below if you want to check that out. Also take note of the customization on these Spartans as well. You can see how the coloring is very different than we've seen previously in any Halo game. Uh, we're assuming to have a lot more color customization options. The visors, the lower and upper halves of the arm and legs, as well as possibly some armor coloring differences for the grenades that are strapped on 
on the center sparring as well? Very likely. I just want to throw that out there so you guys can keep an eye on this. Uh, another example here, we have a new um, anti-air vehicle looking kind of thing from the Banished. It looks pretty menacing, pretty badass. Again, here you can, again, you can see uh, what looks to be Master Chief holding that rifle once again that we've referenced that it could be an anti-vehicle kind of weapon. It looks like he's kind of aiming at the spirit, could be aiming at the uh, anti-air thing. One of these things could be true, but either way, interesting thing to see that this weapon consistently being held by uh, humans and if, rather than any other species that we've seen. So yeah, some pretty interesting leaks for you guys. So you think Locke is actually going to be killed in this game? Honestly, I think it'd be kind of satisfying as Locke wasn't really the most well-liked character in the Halo franchise for sure. Um, you know, do you think you ever have some water vehicles, some air vehicles? Do you think we're getting a wingsuit? I mean, that'd be pretty freaking crazy, but let's see what could happen right there. Uh, yeah, so if you guys like this kind of videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know if you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what your favorite thing was a part of this. Are you, are you worried? Are you excited? Let me know in the comment section down below. I do read a lot of comments and try to reply to most of them as well. If you're new to the channel, make sure you tap subscribe. And if you missed any content from me recently, check out the videos on the screen right now. I got a link to my playlist. It keeps you up to date with all the news if you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.